Ross has again invaded the Lilac system. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team, headed by Fox McCloud, to save Corneri and free the Lilac system once again. What up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. We got a uh, we got an interesting one today. I installed, I think, forty item mods. Uh, there's a whole lot of new items. You can see the logbook here. Uh, most of them aren't even unlocked. I did do a test run. That's why you see a few of them. Um, we'll see. <laughs> like, the vast majority of items I do not have. I, I have them unlocked. I just haven't picked them up yet, is what this means. Uh, I think there's some new equipment, too. I think there's a new tier of void items. It's like a void equipment or something. I don't know. Uh, it looked weird. Or maybe it's like a void lunar. I think that's what it is. Uh, I saw somebody asking about that earlier. Also, it looks like we got some new characters here. Uh, we might have to try those out today. I do want to play this in Eclipse, so we'll see. If I have to play Eclipse 1, then I don't know. Uh, if you guys do want to play this for yourself, there is a mod pack code in the description. It's got all the good stuff in there. Okay, so uh, who are we going to be playing today? Any, any suggestions? Also, uh, in other news, there was a... Pillar skip. There's a new pillar skip found, uh, and it's crazy. I'd like to show it off today. Uh, all you need is safer spaces now on pretty much everybody. Multi is complicated, uh, and so is Artificer with Flamethrower, but everybody else, you can basically skip pillars now with just safer spaces. It's crazy. Commando. Dude, where's my fucking Mario skin? What the hell? All right. We, we can try Commando. We'll go through a few of these today. Um, all right. Hell yeah. So, we'll see if my computer can survive this. It's been having some problems recently. Oh, that loading screen was not a good sign. Very shaky. All right. What's the Five Nights at Freddy's skin pack called? I have no idea. I think it's called, like, Five Nights at Freddy's Engineer or something. Okay, so this is a new elite type. What is this? Nullifying Lemurian. What does he do? I kind of want to get hit by it just to see what happens. But I feel like I might die. <laughs> I have no idea. Why are there so many? God damn. So I wonder if the scaling is affected in any way. Because it's not just item mods. A lot of the item mods I put on are like bundled in just expansion packs. So there are new elites. I don't think there's any new stages. I think there might be a few new enemies. We'll see. Oh, what is that? Sniper rifle. Entering a new stage will boost your speed for what? For 20 seconds. That's horrible. Donut. This is the fucking blender donut. 100%. You, you cannot tell me that was not the fucking blender tutorial. Uh, so activating an interactable spawns a healing orb. Okay, I think gas is... Wait, that's not gas. What is that? Spine implantment. Increase armor by 20 from attacks from behind. That's not horrible, I guess. I feel like Opal kind of makes that redundant. I also have a mod on that will, like, expand the descriptions and give a little bit more information. Okay. So, syringe. We know that one. What is this? Tainted will. Reduce damage taken by enemies by 5%. That's not bad pretty good uh you're gonna a 10 percent chance to apply fairy to enemies on hit okay touching an enemy makes it vulnerable to your next attack reducing its armor uh something by 20 for three seconds wish i could make that last longer it gives me just enough time to not read it and have to ping it again <laughs> all right I don't know what any of these mods are. I hardly play modded. I'm vanilla, so I'm a bit of a noob here. We'll see. What is fairy? The hell is fairy? Does it contribute to death mark? Fragile mass. Spawn a lesser wisp to fight for you. Wisp has 200% damage and 200% health. Wisp dies, the item breaks. Oh. Well. Okay, is there a scrapper? <laughs> I want to get rid of this. <laughs> I feel like that, that he's already almost dead. Okay. <laughs> Good item. Oh my god. That's by far the worst one. 
so far. Mechanical arm. Critical strikes is increased by 5% while carrying this equipment. Okay, so it's passive. Swing in front for 1,000% damage plus 200% damage for each critical strike. Okay, interesting. I'll have to try that again. As a short cooldown. That's pretty nice. Is the fairy literally just the same as fairy from Library of Runia? I have no idea what that even is. Okay. Um, the broken one increases the wisp's HP. Oh, I see. So it's not useless. I still probably will want to scrap it immediately. Because I'd rather just have it as scrap. Uh, plus 25% movement speed for two seconds after using your utility skill. Uh, what's my utility? Is that my grenades? I think. Uh, Midas. Sacrifice 50% of your current health. Gaining either the amount of health lost or a piece of a... St or the price of a standard chest depending on which is higher. What? So, I use it. It takes away my health, but it could give it back to me. I guess I'll have to try that out. I kind of want to use this arm, though. It looks interesting. Is this really the vanilla spawn rate? I feel like so much shit is spawning right now. It takes your health and gives gold. Is that perma damage in Eclipse? It probably is. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with that. All right. I didn't see how much damage that did. Oh, yeah, it was like 1,000 or something. All right. Well, I think I can hit teleporter. Key, everyone knows what that does. It's going to be a lot of just reading today and trying to figure out what even is happening. <laughs> Cracked Halo. Being in the air increases your movement speed by 25%. Oh. I could go all in on that and just see what happens. Could be interesting. Increase random stat. Uh, generation damage movement speed. Okay. Interesting. Increase armor by five. There's so many that increase armor. I'll get this one. Does it tell me what it does? It's fucking armor. <laughs> God damn it. Every time. At the buffs area. Oh, I see. That active gets more damage from crits. Is it active or passive? It says critical strikes, critical strike chance is increased by 5% while carrying this equipment. So that should just be passive. 5% isn't much, but it's something, I guess. Not really a reason I'd take it. The main ability. All right, let's uh, try it out on the boss. Oh boy. I already have two debuffs somehow. Read the active portion of it. Each critical strike dealt while equipment is on cooldown. Oh, I see, I see. So, when I'm not using it, if I get crits, that'll, like, charge it up and it'll deal more damage. So, like, right there, I just got some crit. Oh, and then the thing at the bottom is telling me how much damage it's gonna do. Although, I just got a crit and it didn't increase it. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to use it here. That's kind of shitty. Let's uh, try to get some crit, I guess. See if that makes any tangible difference. Okay, so, well, that was four crits there. So that's not bad. Try to get some more. Okay, that there was a crit there, but it didn't look like it registered down here. All right, you dead. And this teleporter can be kind of rough as commando sometimes. 20% uh, chance to reduce all skill downs by two. Okay. Is that on kill? It just says 20% chance. 
Like, when I pick up the item, I don't know. Holy shit, there's so many. Alright, I have to focus up here. I'm just gonna try to charge. I'm not gonna bother killing these guys. This is overwhelming. This is what happens when you go into Commando. Teleporter 1 with no area of effect. Or healing. It's just cope. On this map specifically. It's really bad for some reason. And I don't know if I can. <laughs> is getting AoE even a realistic thing? It might not be. Depends on if there's items here that give AoE. I have to imagine there are some. Because the chances of me finding gas now are so relatively low. Just because I have so much shit in the item pool. Everything's going to be so rare. Unless I find a printer. I find like a bleed printer or something. But just stacking bleed on its own. No fucking shot. Alright. So what do we got back here? Let me turn down this a tiny bit. I'm going to turn the music up. Alright. What's up? Not much, not much. Having a pretty good day yourself. Bucket list move 24% faster. Uh, but 80% uh, of that is reduced during boss fights. Okay. That's pretty good. I like that. Nice. Alright, I can get Dan's here. I definitely need to try to do that. Hopefully we get some good locations. Serrated. Ooh. Critical strikes deal 10% more damage. Jump 30% higher. And bucket list. I might go with another bucket list, honestly. Although the crit one seems like it might be good for the kind of build I'm going for here. It's just the chances of me finding crit glasses are so low. That's why I hesitate. But I think I'm just going to go with the bucket list here. Give me that movement speed. There's no guarantee I'm going to find more movement speed later. It'll probably just be fucking armor. When's the world record already run? Oh, yeah. So I think yesterday Dan beat my arty record by a considerable margin, like 50 seconds or something. What is this? Uh, buff Brazer Cripple. This turns me into a fucking cripple. Oh hell yeah. Stephen Hawking Simulator. Let's go. Gain 18% eight, temporary barrier after one second of taking damage. Uh, that might be good. Hard, Kind of hard to know until I use it. Barrier is weird. I remember we did this like a year ago we did a similar thing i think it had like half the mods i have on now and it was a similar experience i guess uh, there's some things i remember though all right heal two percent on hitting enemies over 95 percent health that's not bad each item pickup gives express boost that increases attack speed and movement speed by 10 percent until the next stage maximum cap of 30 okay that's that seems like it's all right it's attack speed and movement speed. So it's like a budget mocha, kinda. Or maybe it's better. It's probably better, because I'm going to be opening a lot of chests, right? The game is holding up pretty well. I'm pleasantly surprised. I know it's only stage two, but I expected a lot of lag. And to be honest, that's still probably going to happen. Like stage five, I don't see it not being laggy. All right, let's go. Give me a new red. Gain 60 max HP for every lunar item you have. Well, that's absolutely useless. We should probably start going to the bazaar just to see the new lunars. Uh, every fifth attack deals 20% more damage. Interesting. So that's like a 4% damage boost on average
Yeah, this is the new DLC. All right, so what is he, what do you do? Hit me. I still don't know. He just seems like a beetle with more health. Yeah, the movement speed was really nice. I think that was the right decision. What is this? Gives a 0.1 proc coefficient on to everything. Okay. Interesting. I'm a little bit... I'd like a little bit more information on this one. So is my proc coefficient 1.1 now? Is that what it's saying? If I get like plasma shrimp, plasma shrimp has a proc coefficient of 0.2. Does that make it 0.3? I'm imagining. That's really OP if that's the case. You can get some ludicrous proc chains. It's like a budget clover. All right. You, what do you got? Enemies drop an extra 25% gold on kill. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. So that basically negates Eclipse 6 and probably gives me a little bit more. What is Eclipse 6? I think Eclipse 6 is... Is it 10%? I think it's a 10% reduce in gold drop. 10% reduction in gold drops. Will the firework, whenever you kill an enemy, it explodes into a barrage of two fireworks. Interesting. Hopefully that's AoE. I have no idea. If it's just like the normal fireworks or if they're special. Okay. Oh, is this what the... I see. So the thing I hit over there cripples all of the enemies within the teleporter. Interesting. Don't know what happened over there, but we'll ignore it. Oh, these mendings are brutal. I can't kill them. I have no damage items. This is, this is a problem. I might want to play somebody that has at least a little bit of damage in their kit. Although, you would think the ratio of damage items to, like, utility items would be similar with all of these mods. Maybe I've just gotten really unlucky. Okay. It is not a 95% reduction. All right, so I lost my movement speed, or a good chunk of it, because it's a teleporter event, supposedly. Though I still feel pretty fast, not really noticing it too much. Ugh. Need this wisp to do something. That's horrible. <laughs> it's just two fireworks. How is that a green item? Maybe I'm a uh, I'm misjudging it. If you get an ICBM, that'll probably work with it. Okay, it's not too bad. I think we're in better shape than I was last stage, but I still need a boost. Increase the duration of buffs by 125%. That's crazy. So what could I realistically use with that? I guess like Gorag Zopus would be good. 125%. Damn. Or maybe it makes tonic last longer too. If that's the case, that's incredible. I'm trying to think like what active buffs you can get that you'd actually want to make last longer. Imagine it uh, <laughs> increases the band cooldown from uptime on Warhorn. Maybe. Give me some damage, please. All right, I still want to try to get bands here. Um, I don't think I remember where the chest locations were. It fixes Aegis and shield duration. Oh, does it? Increases the duration of buffs. Okay, well, we'll have to test it out. I will be the judge if it actually fixes Aegis. I would find that very surprising, because Aegis is dog shit. But we'll see. And shield? Do you mean, like, PSG? 
I don't see how it would affect that. I could go into the repeater. That seems like it could be interesting. 33% chance on taking damage to freeze random enemies within 15 meters. Okay, if that's like the arty freeze, that's really good. It gives me an execute at 30% health. I don't know. Warhorn? Okay. This is a pretty easy one. It's actually... It's not. It's deceptively easy. This one likes to fuck with you. Come on. Stop. Ugh. Okay. Nope. Nope, nope. Might try coming from up here. Okay. You get out of here. I don't think there, it was back here, but I'll check anyway. Nope. Do I like, like pot rolling? I do. It reminds me of my 70s. Wild times. Wild times. Alright, bands are going to be some damage at least. At least I have that. And maybe I can get some cool proc chain with bands here. Because I can't really proc it. I guess this can. Um, but grenades also can proc it, but they're not very good. Okay, that was some damage. I, I had 11 crit stored up there. Oh yeah, look at this warhorn. That's amazing. There's equipment barrel on the bridge. I'll go check it out. This bridge. Ah, good eye. You got a good eye on you. Oh, it's the same shit. Okay. Actually kind of incredible that we got the same equipment twice. The odds of that are pretty low. Fifth attack, yeah, yeah, we saw that one. All right, let's get out of here. I have no idea what this build is. Yeah, I think there's uh, there's Slay the Spire items in here. There's League of Legend items. There's a whole bunch of shit. If you want to see, again, link in the description. That's for the mod pack code in R2 Mod Manager really easy it'll just when you're making a profile it'll give you an option to say like create profile from code and then you just put that in and it should automatically download everything although this does seem kind of unbalanced i don't know why you'd want to <laughs> so what is that veiled okay interesting No, fuck you. Fireworks do help with the void enemies. That's one really good use for them here. Okay. This army isn't a horrible band proc. If I get some more crit, it'll be even better. It's just, where do I find crit? Maybe there are some items that will increase my crit chance without actually needing glasses. Stinky Bomb. 10% chance to hit poison on enemies for 10... Okay, wait. 10% chance on hit to poison all enemies in 10 meters for 170 seconds. 170%. Sorry, I can't fucking read. Total damage over 4 seconds. I see. Oh. That's fucking hilarious. Farts are like hot five funniest things in the world, so I definitely like that item. Feather? Okay. Uh, I will always take a feather. Not bad, not bad. What do we got? War paint. 
On pickup, upgrade two items to the next rarity. Oh, shit. I want to try that. It's like a budget benthic. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Okay. So somebody said this made ages better. I will be the judge. I guess I need some healing to actually get it to work. I don't think I have a single healing item. Is he Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's? You need to shut the hell up and enjoy the goddamn live stream. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of these people coming in. Just shut the hell up and enjoy the stream. It's not hard. Okay. Well, so what was the other one I got? On hit. Oh, that's a fucking paragraph and a half. On hit, inflict the enemy with a debuff lasting 10 seconds and decreasing the base damage of the enemy by 20%. Get health back after killing an enemy with a debuff based on a complicated formula based off the base damage of the enemy, which increases health healing on stack. What the fuck? Yeah, I understood all of that. What about you, chat? One, if you understood every word of that. Two, if you have no idea what's going on. Hit the gritty. Ah, oh, fuck, I don't have the gritty mod on. I forgot to install it. My hubris. It's a lot of ones. Your guys' comprehension is amazing. Ooh, let's get this. What's this one? Slow down. Seems like that's similar to the cripple one. Don't really know how it's different. Is it just worse? All right, I want to hit the voids at the end. Man, is that all? Crowbar. I guess that's it. I will try the teleporter. But I feel like I'm probably going to die here. What the fuck is this? Introspective insect. It's my spirit animal right there. Ugh. This is not doing a lot. Stop. Okay. This is not good. I think that I don't even think the freeze stops them completely. I think it's just like it slows them a little bit. It's not the RD execute freeze. That sucks. Alright, I can deal with the wisps. They're not hard. As long as I'm running in a circle, they should not bother me. It's all the ground enemies I'm worried about, like you. Oh shit. I have zero healing items. Actually, I do. I have the one that gives me healing when the first time I hit an enemy. Okay, I walked into that. It's gonna kill me. Yep. Oh, he's dying. Alright, I want to go with somebody with a little bit more damage. Just right off the bat. So I was getting fucked over there. Um, okay. We'll go with this. We'll go with this. Bonnie is the hottest Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic? Uh, wrong. It's actually Chica the Chicken, and my dad will fight you if you disagree. Checkmate, bitch. Yeah, dude. Of course this is Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. And you guys watch I Show Speed? It's iconic. <laughs> guys, did you know Disputed Origin's dad is ripped? I mean, are they better? You guys better fucking know that. My dad is friggin' ripped, and he will beat you. It, he will beat up your dad in the Walmart par parking lot. He's done it many times. He's very comfortable with it. And uh, just so we're on the same page, I want you guys to understand. Like, if you talk shit to me, my dad will seek retribution. Release a 13 meter barrier effect for all out. Why are they all fucking barrier and armor? <laughs> what the hell? Release a 13 meter barrier effect for all allies in teleporter events and holdout zones, multiplying barrier decay by 80%. What does that even fucking mean? Oh, barrier decay. So does that give me more or less? 
I imagine it gives me more barrier. Multiplying decay. Interesting phrasing. Warcry. Oh, is this just like frenzy then? It might be. It's my best guess. Yo, how you doing, Cap? What up? Cap's dad is also pretty ripped, just so you guys know. He's not as ripped as my dad, um, but he's ripped. And he could probably take on any of your guys' dad. So, uh, just be careful around him. Install emoji mod. Like the, uh, from the iconic emoji movie. I think, like, of all of the movies ever created, the emoji movie has got to be my favorite. A coffee bag, 22% attack speed bonus, and a 21% movement speed bonus for up to 15 seconds after using an interactable. After using an interactable, man. It's not consistent. Okay, what is this? Corrupted shipping request form. A special delivery contains items uh, will appear in a random location. Okay. So it's just a shipping request form. Has a very low chance at red. 31% white. And then it's mostly void items. That's pretty good. I don't see the downside here, unless all of the void items in this mod are dog shit. There's one, I think, called the, uh... It's like the Corrupted Topu Feather, and it's not very good. 9% chance to launch a mortar effect that deals 170%. Uh, affected by proc coefficient, the mortar deals AoE damage. Oh, nice. I need AoE. What is the frenzy fireball things floating around you? When I activate the TP, it'll create an aura around it, and it'll give me a buff of some kind, or the enemy's a debuff. One of the two. You'll see, you'll see. When I activate teleporter, total will become clear. What even is that character? Dude, this is Chica from the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, movie. Fucking, uh, the Enderman. I find these skins really annoying. Nice, man. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. <laughs> I'm sad that I, uh, I didn't put the Mario skin on. I guess that's it. I didn't really see anything else. Should be able to handle this teleporter, though. Yeah, so it gives me frenzy when I'm in here. That could be better. It's not that good on Artie. At least I get a little bit of movement speed. But Artie doesn't really benefit from attack speed, sadly. Okay. Okay. Good. The Neural. Good old Neural. Everyone knows that one. Is he playing Alec Baldwin from the Boss Baby right now? Dude, the boss baby is so fucking funny. I love the boss baby. And I love Alec Baldwin. He's my favorite murderer. <laughs> of all of the murderers out there, I think Alec Baldwin... He, uh, he's the best. He's up there. Not better than my dad, but... Number two, maybe. You're what? My dad. Did I st 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 stutter? I'm talking about my dad. He's a, he's a convicted felon. He's so cool. God, I love my dad. It was self-defense. Come on. Oh, yeah, it totally was self-defense. I mean, it wasn't Alec Baldwin's fault. He killed somebody. Somebody loaded the gun and was like, okay, this gun is filled with blanks. Feel free to fire it. And then he fired it, and it's like, oh my god, I can't believe you did that. You killed someone. Did that movie ever come out? I have to imagine it didn't. <laughs> Which is a shame. They put the, uh, it's an extra in the DVD menu. You can witness the murder. Okay, well... I guess that's everything. Kind of a disappointing stage. Rest in piss. Have some goddamn respect. A woman died. 
it's not completely his fault. I don't see how it's his fault at all. He didn't know it was loaded. It's like a void key? I think so. But you can get normal items from it. Scratch ticket. Chance-based effects have a 1% chance of triggering. Does not work on effects with a less than 1% chance of triggering. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, I'm getting these. So, like, if I have three of these, it takes the ATG proc chance from 10% to 13, I believe. Yeah, I definitely want as many of those as I can get. Hopefully, there's more items here. That's like a, a budget clover. That's nice. And then if we combine that with the one that increases my proc coefficient, and do some giga damage. Get out of here. Uh, stop. All right, so what is this? Wildlife camera, take a photo of an enemy and spawn them as an ally using it again. Oh, nice. Can I do that with Mythrix? That'd be sick. I don't know if I want to take this all the way to the moon just to try that, but... Oh, I see. It gives me, like, a little indicator here. It's like Pokemon Snap. What is this? Is that the Void Box? Not sure. Looks interesting. Whatever it is. Oh, this was a horrible idea. Help me, friend. You know what? They actually probably won't bother me. Oh, no. I'm, my man might kill me. So I assume I get a void item or something out of this. Oh, nice. Uh, I can't... I don't know what any of these do. I mean... Okay, so this delicate watch gained three items at the start of the next stage, taking damage to below 25% health. Breaks a random item with a cooldown of three seconds. That's scary, but I'll take it. Terrifying. Uh, I need an elixir so that doesn't happen. Hello. I wish I could see what everything did in the potentials. That did uh, give me a lot of money. That little void event. Okay, speed, beautiful. I see some more speed in here. What is this? At the start of a stage, one item will be corrupted into their void equivalent. What is this corrupt? Oh, I don't think it is like a corrupted thing of anything specific. It just gives you more corrupted items. All right, so what is this? Manuscript. Increase random stat. I think I got this last time. And Juzu bracelet. Fuck, I missed it. We'll just get this. What is it? Damage. Nice. Can definitely use more damage here. Okay, exhaust vent. It's void fireworks and it's OP. Looks like a coral reef. Got it. I will do my best, sir. We'll see if we find it. Again, there's like 20 billion void items. There is an artifact, I think, in one of these mods that makes every item a void item. So I'll have to try that out. That is one thing. I might put on some of the void mods just permanently for what I'm playing, because that's one thing about the DLC. I think uh, it was kind of light on the void items. It's a great concept, but the item pool is so small in vanilla. Like to the point where if you get, a, there's only two red void items. What the fuck is this? Frenzy, is this an item? On kill, gain 6% sprint speed. What the fuck? Getting hit, gain 12% speed. I guess I'll pick it up. Oh, it's like 
It's not an item. All right, friend, help. When I ping it, it tells me it's an item. Oh, shit. Okay. We should be good. Do I want to get more scratch tickets? I think I kind of want to hold off. Maybe till the end of the stage. And maybe not at all. A prism has been sacrificed. Okay, now it'll let me pick it up. A sacrifice is energy drink. No. That's not worth it. Absolutely not. Mask of plausible deniability. The hell? Temporarily increase the attack speed by 0.1 each time you attack the same enemy. So I imagine that's permanent. 0.01. Balance. Gain a maximum 20% dodge attacks. Something. The slower you're moving, full chance not moving. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll get that one. Seems interesting. Chance while not moving, half chance while walking or receiving a speed debuff, and no chance while freely sprinting. Oh. Okay, so I have to not be moving to use it. I should have read the full description. That was my bad. How you doing, Cybermail? What up? So I guess I'll start this. I'm a little bit nervous. Alright, can I capture you? I can't capture bosses, it seems like. That sucks. But I can maybe get like an overloading Elder Lemurian or something. I don't really like this equipment. Seems kind of underwhelming. I'd rather just have damage. What's the cooldown on it? It's 25 seconds. That's not too bad, I guess. Should have got a, a pest there. I wonder if it keeps the elite uh, affixes. It probably does. I'll try that with the Lemurian next. Or maybe a Void Touched. Doing it on a Void Touched might be good. And get a Void Touched Templar or something. Capture Elites to get them out of the way. Well, I think they're still there. Yeah, it is Blazing. It's not like a Tricorn. It doesn't delete them. You just spawn a duplicate. It's like the, uh, the Pregnancy mod. Without the Gestation. So, without the fun, basically. You know what? I don't think I have that mod on. I think it got a, uh, it got nuked at some point. It's deprecated now, which is a shame. The what? The future of heresy, uh, pregnancy, and risk of rain too. Yeah, it's pretty fucking metal, dude. It's for hardcore gamers only. So I understand, like. I understand if you don't want to try it out. It's not for everybody. It's only for the the elite. No one would blame you if you don't want to go to um, riskofrain2.com slash not safe for work slash pregnancy slash my dad is awesome. It is a lot of mending. It's actually just like one guy, but somehow he healed him for 10 billion. Shit. Uh, this is the most annoying boss. I hate fighting Dune Striders every time. Every time they do this shit. I'm at 99% charge. That's how you know it's cope. When you get to 99% charge and the boss still isn't dead. While you're in the teleporter range, increase movement speed by 25% and armor by 10%. Okay. That's, uh, that's pretty good. 
It's the reverse of... I forget the name of the item, but the one that gives you movement speed when you're outside the teleporter. Okay, I don't think I've looted back here, so I'll check that out. Um... So... Okay, so I wonder if the scratch ticket affects this one. Because it says 20% chance to dodge attacks maximum. But with scratch tickets, does that make it a 23% maximum? Platinum card. Making a purchase at a multi-shop keeps other multi-shop terminals available. Huh? Oh! That's amazing. Is, this is just like... a uh, Mom's credit card. The item. I think. If I'm understanding correctly, dealing crits gives two gold. Alright. I don't have any crit, and it's artificer, so that's probably not going to be good. I'm piercing rounds. Not bad, not bad. Only once a stage. Ah, I see. So, what was with my, uh, my shipping request form? Is that what this was? There's also... Is this a, a void marker? Is this a new coin? I think it's a new coin. Yeah, so... I guess I can buy something with that. I have no idea. I remember when the DLC was being teased and like hyped up, there was a, uh, a big theory that they were going to add this in Survivors of the Void because they expanded the, the box here. It used to be a lot smaller. Um, and then it came out and they just increased the box size and they trolled everybody. But if you go back to the anniversary update, this box was a lot smaller. I think it was at some point, but they decided to scrap it. Alright, so I should be able to get all of these items, I believe. Preserved instinct, 10% chance, something. Those, the descriptions last way too fucking short. That sentence didn't make sense, but you know what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay, so I can only get two. Got it. And then, it's consumed, I see. What is this? Increased damage of allied minions. Oh, I I could use that with the camera, but I don't really want to go into that. I mean, maybe. Maybe it would have been good. I don't know. Poat enemies with acid. Interesting. You said 50% health for the Kratos was a placeholder, too. I think that's the case. Which is unfortunate, because the 50% health... Absolutely sucks in Eclipse 8. I think a, uh, a Lunar Coin would have made more sense. Stop. Just distract him. Okay. Pokemon Snap is good at distracting enemies, at least. Still gotta kill you. No, how did you not get frozen? What the fuck? Dude, he just ate my freezing. The hell, man? Maybe that's a change? Can't freeze these guys now? You can. I don't know what happened there. Uh, okay. So I have two cards, I guess. Captain's Favor. The first chest you open each stage will be replaced by a Void Potential, inheriting the chest I item tiers. That's pretty good. I like that. I thought it would corrupt this item. It looks like it would. Doesn't it? A 400 ticket. I don't even know what that is. 
I don't think I've seen it yet. Cheap drumstick. Attack 25% faster. You're taking damage below 25% health. That's not good on Artie. It corrupts 400 tickets. All 400 of them. I really like those little void chargey things. They don't take too long and they give you a shit ton of money. That's nice. Nail bomb. Attacks that deal 120% damage or more. Release a shrapnel gra grenade. Alright, I'm getting that. Oh, I can get another thing. I should have gone to a different multi shop first because I don't necessarily want these. Yeah, I have to think about that. I have to think about that more. If there is another multi shop, yeah, there is one back there. X Force Stimulant reduced secondary school cooldown by 10%, something. Oh! Alright, I'm getting the gas. I don't know what the other one was, but. Gas is surely good. Four hundred tickets is a consumable item that dupes the next chest you open. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna get the bucket list here. Interesting. Uh, well, I can't get it now. Unless there's a way to get rid of voids, maybe there is. I don't know. I love chewing on lunar coins. Good. It's healthy for a boy of your age. More gas. Well. Cracked Halo. Being in the air increases movement speed by 25%. That's really good. That's really good on Artie. Nice. Okay. Well, we got gas now. I'm feeling good. What is this? A Bitcoin? King enemy at max health gives you barrier equal to 20% of the damage dealt. So... Okay, so that just seems like a better Topaz brooch. How much barrier I'm getting? Half of the fucking items, I swear, have something to do with barrier. That's like the, the go-to when you're making an item mod. You need to have 50 things that increase your barrier. I hate the fucking... Whatever that sound is. The pew pew pew. Sock. I wish I knew it was making that, so I can get rid of it. Damn, I kill one beetle, and it puts me at full barrier, basically. That's crazy. Nail bomb. Oh, okay. Do I have... Oh, this is a lot. I don't know. Yeah. Does anybody know what mod that's from? Enable bloody pillow. Enable clown nose. Uh, hell yeah. I'm enabling that. Ugh. It's nail bomb. Ethereum. Okay. I don't see it in here. I don't even know if it'll give me the option. These are all just like... Well... They might, I don't know. Initial crit stacking... I don't think it'll give me the option, so I'll just deal with it. Okay, well this is a significantly better run now. And we got a Shatter Splain? Beautiful. Wish I had some more crit, but that's still nice. I need to get a death mark because debuffs are plenty in this mod pack. Nail bomb is strong at least. It's I think I can't tell. Honestly, the problem with having this many item mods is I don't really know what's dealing the most damage here. Things are dying, I'm grateful. But it's hard to tell sometimes. Okay. We got some stuff back there. Oh, all right, GG. GG. I don't think I saw a scrapper. I'll just go all in on that. 
regardless. There's a lot of items that have to do with crit as well. This is going to be a good decision, I think. What do we got in here? I'm going to recognize none of these. Yep. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I guess we got another one of these. I should have left that, actually. I don't want to lose it. Why are the icons so tiny when I scrap? Oh, the scratch tickets probably increase my crit chance. Be nice to not lose those. Can lose a gas, that's fine. This is going to solve my AoE problem. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here. Because I can get more glasses, and I think the scratch tickets affect it, so. This is like... That's 81, plus 5, 86, 87, 88. Round 88. Tough times grants 14 armor. I think that's from the first game. It's probably why they called it tougher times in this one. I imagine. I think a lot of the item mods are just ports from the first game that's uh you can kind of tell they're the pixelated ones like i think this one was your critical strikes deal 10 percent more damage oh what are you kidding me fuck off <laughs> i forgot i had that void <laughs> shit okay there goes all of my crit but now I have a, what, 5% chance to insta-kill enemies? Does it, okay, does Scratch Tickets affect Lost Ears as well? They do, that's amazing. God damn it. I had such an amazing build. <laughs> what the fuck? Flew a little bit too close to the sun there. Okay. Okay, you know what? Maybe I spoke too soon. What are you? Give me. Bub Sepia Elite Name. Oh, hell yeah. That's my favorite one. Let's go. Orchilium, after standing still for one second, gain temporary barrier of your max barrier per second. Okay. Sure. Always with the barrier, I swear to god. Double XP and double gold. Uh, yeah? Okay. Oh, shit. Forgot I had that. This is chaos. I'm not remembering anything I have. Look at the strawberry, I guess. Increase maximum health by 5%. Sure. That seems very underwhelming. I guess it is only a white item, so it's fine. It's another slate the spire item. You can tell the spire items because they're cards when you pick them up. Increase damage dealt to enemies by 10%. Okay. That's good. Gain 5% critical strike chance from every unique buff you have. Okay. I Do I have any unique buffs? I don't think I do. Another camera. Bub Wildlife camera description. Hell yeah. The best equipment in Risk of Rain 2. Song name. I believe this is Now I Become Death from the Deadbolt soundtrack. Infinity Edge. 5% crit chance. Something. And 15% crit damage. I mean, I guess. Increase your base HP by 1.5% for each common item in your inventory. Ah, uh, that seems like it's not bad. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Let's see what the other one is. Uh, you and your drones occasionally drop electric sparks while in combat. Sparks dropped by drones deal 200% damage and something. Fuck, I picked the wrong thing. 
Base damage on contact with an enemy. I'm gonna go with this one. Seems like it's better. Egg, I'll take that. Okay. More speed, beautiful. Surely this won't get corrupted next stage. Surely. So, I have nine Lost Ears. I, I guess it gave me an extra one, because I think I only had eight crit glasses there, if I recall correctly. The delete is actually putting in work, though. I'm not... I don't mind too much right now. After staying still for one second, create a zone that increases damage by 20%. Why do all of these things want me to stand still? It's not fun. Corrupted watch gives extra glasses. Okay. That's what I thought. Alright. I want to open the red here. I mean, I do still have a decent amount of crit. I don't know what it is exactly. But I've got a few crit items. Okay, what is this? Blank slate. Hitting enemy gives three barrier. Fuck. God. I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Always with the fucking barrier, dude. Every time. If for NG, oh, yeah, that's probably true. They're designed around engineer. Darmamu, I've come to bargain. Uh, 15% chance on kill to gain mantra. Once you get 10 Mantra and her Divinity for 5 seconds in Divinity, deal additional 200% damage. I think we got this one before. What are you? Ah. I hate deleting Guts because then you don't get the max value from them. And they split and you get to kill them again. Pen Nib. After landing 10 hits, deal an additional 100 damage for one attack. Cap at 10 attacks. Okay. Yeah, this is not bad with the crit. I'm pleasantly surprised. I feel like more often than not, I'm critting. So losing the Lost Series honestly wasn't a big deal. Like, look at that. I want to get the, uh, the one we had last run where crits increase damage. That one seems like it'd be good here. All right, we're gonna do this. Nice. No, stop. Am I max crit? I feel like I'm, I'm looking for times I'm not critting here. I think it's the one that Give me crit chance for buffs I have. Oh shit, dude. Oh, this is ass on this map. You have to deal with the crabs while charging. Uh, is this... Is that even a void item? What is this? Gain regenerate... That's not even a fucking void item. Why'd I take it? <laughs> I didn't know they could have non-void items in those. Good evening, Disputed Origin. Why are you fucking putting things in quotes? Being passive-aggressive? Catastrophe? How do you know? My dad works at Walmart, and he will beat you up. If you try something like that again. Hunter Sigil, after standing still for at least one second, gained 20 armor, 20% increased damage. Really? Okay. I guess we're going to stand still. That seems like shit. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Do we loop this run? I feel like I have to loop, right? Just see, like, how full we can get this bar. How many lines we can get down. Nice. Shatter Screen is so OP. I got another one of these. That's nice. Like that. Like that. Slowly becoming an executive card. Go until the game crashes. And we'll see. I do have proper save on, so I could potentially reload. Uh, booting the game up does take like seven hours because I have so much shit in here. I have, I think, a hundred mods in total installed, but half of those are like API shit that just make other mods work. I think it's around 40 mods that actually give items. Some of them only add one item. Some of them add like 20. But there's like 40 different mods in total. Alright, let's check out this red chest. I should have enough. I definitely think I have enough here. Hello. Nice. And this is, uh, this is not very balanced. 5% chance to heal 30% of your max health on hit. The chance increases by 1% for each 100 a percent damage over 100% dealt. Okay. Smart shopper. Oh, that one was good. I don't see it's here. Three space, health regen for each ally you have. Probably should have gone with the uh, the buckler there, honestly. I feel like I'm kind of doing okay on money. All right, I need to get rid of all of you guys. What is this? Hello? Oh, I think that was just the the teleporter thing. I don't know if all the crabs are dead, but I'm doing this anyway. The cards are so frustrating in these. Like, what the fuck is it? Was that a Kendama? Did you see a Kendama? Okay, fuck it. Oh, nice. That was definitely intentional. The fastest reaction time in the old folks' home. That's me. That's me. You should see how fast I fill in my bingo cards. You should fucking see. Miss McGillicuddy is impressed every time. All right, let's get out of here. Do you take sponsorship from the Five Nights at Freddy's devs? No, I'm actually, I'm playing this because I'm in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie coming out this Friday. Um, I play the Enderman in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. So keep, keep an eye out for me. Okay, what do we got here? Stinky bomb printer. And a band printer. I'm worried if I pick that up, if I go into that band printer, it's going to get corrupted immediately. But, I don't know. Do I just not take bands then? Is that the solution? I feel like that's not a good solution either. I want to find a crowdfunder. Although, the chances of me finding that are pretty low with the amount of new equipment added. It will corrupt immediately. I think the more variety I have in my kit, the better for that kind of thing. But like 20 vans isn't the worst thing in the world. It's not as good as Kaijaro's, but uh, killing an elite monster removes one debuff. Does that work with bands? Oh, please. Can only be triggered every five seconds. That works with bands. That's going to be the most amazing thing ever. I need to see if there's a scrapper. Probably shouldn't have picked it up. We'll get these. Oh, actually, I should hold off on opening the multiple multi-shops. Okay, so you 
will get deleted here in a second. Right? Please. Do I need crowdfunder? In theory, you should be getting deleted right now. Guess not. Guess not. What the fuck are you? Holy shit. Get away from me. That's terrifying. I think that might be like a scrapped boss from the DLC. Okay. Uh, whatever. I'll pick up upgrade two random items. The next higher tier. Oh, shit. Okay, I got a Kaijaro band and a Mormon chunk. Increase overall damage by two. Not bad. It scales over time. He went in the ground. Fuck. I hate those. Where'd he go? Delete, please. Why won't they delete anymore? Okay. Here's one. They have so much health. Oh, this... It's a Sigma construct. Oh, that's why I can't kill it. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry, sir. I did not realize I was dealing with the Sigma. My bad. I will just be on my way. What's that? ATG missile mark two. 7% chance to fire three missiles that deal 300% each. Okay. It seems like it's good. Give. I want an ICBM now. That's crazy. And I think ATG Mark 1 is also in one of these mods. It's a white item, I believe. So that could open us up to some pretty cool combos. It's a Void Touched Void Barnacle. I didn't even know that could happen. I don't think it can normally. Maybe if you do, like, Honor or something. The one that makes small elites. Is there a right item up here? What is this? What is this? Ten Commandments of Virail. Trigger, trigger all of your on-hit effects every ten hits. Okay. I, I, where did that come from? I'm so confused. Okay. Oh, and that includes Lost Seers, I guess. This is crazy town. Uh, digital devil. Killing an enemy increases your movement speed by 0 0.99999. Isn't that a decrease? Okay. Up to a maximum of 30. I guess it's not a decrease if you're adding it. It's not multiplied. Okay. I guess that's good. I have no idea. Dead man's foot. What the hell? When hit for more than 10% max health, drop a poison mine. This is loud. Let me turn this down. It's really fucking loud. Alright. Harpoon, but way worse. I, I'm not feeling any effect at all with it. Ooh, what is this one? Super Leech. Okay. Fucking Cloud Chasers out here. Nice. So if I hit one of these ten times, it's guaranteed to proc Lost Sears. Is that right? Let's test it on you. I think that's what that item does. The fucking cum scepter. It triggers all of your on hit. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not understanding the item then. Trigger all of your on hit every 10 hits. Each additional stack. Each additional stack triggers these effects again. Okay, so maybe Lost Series is excluded from that. 
that would make sense. I'd recommend using Rising Tides. It adds a lot of really cool elites. I'll have to check it out. It might already be in here. I don't know. All right, so we want to loop. It's not guaranteed, but it says it triggers all of your on-hit effects every 10 hits. Is that not a, a guarantee? I think I'm just not understanding the item properly. Didn't you make this mod pack? I did, but I don't know all of the mods in it. Who do you think I am? John mod pack? <laughs> Hell no. I don't know any of these mods. They just said they added items, so I put them in my game. How are your crabs doing? I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna... I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna indulge that with a response here, okay? I'm sick of it. I'm sick and tired of it. Where is Goku? That's a good question. Where the fuck is Goku? Had a play date at Cap's house. We go way back. First time catching your stream. Love the vids. Hell yeah. Thank you, the tragic dream. You're a good man. One of the best. One of the best I've known. I've known a lot of good men. Like my dad. He's a great guy. Oh yeah, I subbed recently. First time I catch live. Hell yeah. You remind me of my dad. Do any of the mods add new lunar items? Yes. Should try to go to the shops. I should. I need to start hitting newts. You're right. 10% chance uh, damage dealt to enemies when they spawn. Oh, 10% damage. I see. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Smiling mask. The Shrine of Chance cost multiplier is 50% less. It's not bad. All right, let's do this. Then there's a thing back there. I don't know that I want that. Predatory Savagery. I'll look at that again in a second. Paper Frog. Do 25% more damage to vulnerable enemies. Are you going to blow up on me if I stand here? Oh, shit. Thank God for all this barrier. It's really keeping me afloat here. I wonder what I do with these lunar coins or the void coins. I haven't seen a use for them yet. I guess we'll see. Maybe there's something in the bazaar I can do. Uh, fuck. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I, uh, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Hey, you doing, host? What up? What up, my man? Oh boy. Oh boy. That was, uh, that was a pretty embarrassing one. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's such a rookie mistake. Always kill the enemies before you open the potentials. 100% of the time. Needles, non-critical strikes, add 1% critical chance against the enemy struck. Additional crits uh, is cleared act after activating. Okay, so if I don't crit, it'll make it so I'm more likely to crit on the next attack. But then once I do actually crit, it'll reset. Not bad. Especially on this loadout. Uh, I kind of regret picking Huntress because I could really struggle with damage. Maybe not. It's giving him a debuff. Against the struck enemy. Okay. So it's by enemy. I mean, that's a debuff no matter what. No matter how you look at it. It'll help with death mark if I can get there. 
builds up, blows its load, resets. Ah, you don't have to be so crude. Increase your base damage by two. Uh, that's amazing. That's OP as shit. I have so much fucking silverware in my inventory right now. You guys don't even know. I'm like in a fucking Ikea China shop. Or something. What? What'd I say? Ikea China shop? Yeah, everybody knows the Ikea China shop. <laughs> I, I wonder if in China they call the like they call china like plates and shit i wonder if they call it the world because it's not china you can't call china china in china it wouldn't make any goddamn sense would it oh hell yeah i got my prescription while active increased base damage by 10 points and attack speed by 40 percent last 11 seconds hell yeah brother taking this to the china shop do you have a mod to make hunters shoot faster? No. And just get attack speed. If... <laughs> I don't need to get a mod to do that. Bro, can you imagine? Huntress, but she shoots 15% faster. Oh my god. It's revolutionary. Hello, Dio. I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. It is so good to see you, my old friend. What's it been? 20, 30 years? Too long. Too long. And what do they call crabs? Uh, probably some Chinese shit. I don't know. If I, if I had to guess, it'd be like Chinese symbols. Okay. Well. Ty of Cursed Bartender. Heal 5% more. Why is he cursed? Oh. Does this give me Jade Elephant powers? Powers of the Mighty Elephant? It couldn't be. Acidic Rounds. 20% chance to coat the enemy with acid. I think I had these last time. It was pretty good. Dealing 25% base damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get that. We'll get that. I got back into Risk of Rain because of you. Didn't know there was so many cool content creators who play. Oh, there's there's a ton. There's Gaming Host. There's Cap, although he's like, he has his days where he's not cool. Uh, there's Race. There's the Wooly Gaming. There's like at least two. It's, it's fucking incredible. There's Raydans, even though that piece of shit broke my arty record. I need to get it back. It's gonna be hard. He got Drone Man very early on. Like, first item was Drone Man. So, I think it'll take a few attempts to beat it, to say the least. But it's doable. I knew it was gonna get beaten at some point, because that record was very unoptimized. I don't even think I had Vase. Cap yells at his viewers. I, he is infamous for going on tirades against his viewers. He hates them. At least it doesn't have Drone Man and, and Empathy Cores. That's true. Once you get to the Drone Man and Empathy Core stage, that's when a character dies and you can't speedrun them anymore. Also, how you doing, Wooly? Good to see you. Good to see you, my man. Are you still uh, going for the Huntress record? I try to watch your streams when I can, but... Uh, <laughs> too damn early for me. It's a, I think it's an East Coast deal. I also wake up way later than I should. Sometimes I'll catch the end. Cap yells at me every time I boot up a speedrun. I mean, he'll yell at you no matter what you do. So just don't take it too personally. I think a person made a video on Drone Man and Empathy Course before. Yeah. I wonder who that could be. I don't know, it's Dan. Yeah, Dan's here. 
Uh, time to pack it in. It's been a good stream. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to call it early today. Ray Dans is here, and uh, he's just going to suck the fun out of this live stream. So it was good while it lasted. Okay. I forgot what this thing did. The prescription drugs will activate base damage something. Can't read it right now. Okay, nice. What do we got? Failed experiment. Killing it and a... Okay, I'll check these out once I'm done with this. That name does inspire a lot of confidence in me that it's a good item. So I'm optimistic. Okay. Killing an elite enemy inflicts its elemental effect on all enemies in a 15 meter radius for 8 seconds. Okay, so it's kind of similar to Wake of Vultures, but it's just like more area of effect based, I think. I think that's what that means. All right, let's get out of here. I need to remember, I'm not, I don't think it's possible for me. There's like 500 new items, but I want to remember the one that corrupted my items last time that wasn't the Benthic. That thing fucked me over. I think there's a lot of voids in here that I probably don't want. I know the Void Hopu Feather is really fucking bad. I've never actually used it, but Race has told me that it's the worst item he's ever seen. So I kind of want to find it just to try and see if he's talking shit, as he does sometimes. I just want to see how bad it actually is. It's an air quail, basically. What is your guys' opinion on quail? Because I know there's a lot of quail haters out there. Ray Dance, I'm looking at you. Uh, I think quail is one of the best items ever in this game. I fucking love quail. You can stack too many sometimes, but... The more I play this game, the more I like quail. I know for a lot of people it's the opposite. The, m the more they dislike it, the longer they play. It kind of depends on the survivor, but... Like, on Artie and Multi, specifically, Quail is a must-have. For me, at least. I don't know. Some people hate it on those two characters, specifically. But they've got the, uh, the low turn-back acceleration... It's necessary. It's necessary. Okay. What am I doing? I need to get some economy items here. Crit, that's really good. Surely this won't get corrupted into Lost Series. That would never happen. Nice. What is flat bungus? Bungus. Whenever you stand still, fire a stream of fireworks starting at about 9% speed. Fire speed increases hyperbolically with the number of stacks starting with 8% and going up. Okay, so let me try this. So if I stand still... Uh, <laughs> okay. Maybe if you stack it, it becomes better. I don't see myself ever doing this. But that's interesting. Oh, I get it. Like, Firework Bungus. But it's just called Fungus. So it reverts to an uncreative name. Oh, shit. I think that's what it means. There's one of these mods that was Firework-based. and adds a bunch of new Firework items. I think this is from that. Ow. Is this a firework leapt in daisy? It 100% is. You can tell because they're fucking flat. Okay. Uh, release a barrage of 40 fireworks during a teleporter or holdout zone event occurs two times. 
Okay, at least it happens twice. Normal left and only does it once. Okay, what is this? Charged Urchin. Gain a shield equal to 10% of your maximum health. While you have shield, taking damage shocks enemies for 80%. Uh, seems like it might be okay. It's so overwhelming to try to, like, comprehend what all of the new items do and how they interact with each other. It's too much for me. It's almost like <laughs> you're not supposed to play the game this way. I think, uh... If I was serious about this, what I could have done is worked my way up, added like one item mod, got a hang of that, added another one. That way I would have been knowledgeable about everything. Maybe we can do that. I do kind of want to take the time to look at some of these mods individually at some point. Because it's kind of hard to appreciate the new items when there's so many of them and it's just a clusterfuck where you have no idea what's happening. The toxin touching an enemy takes makes it vulnerable to your next attack, reducing its armor by 20 for 3 seconds. Why is this so blurry? Why'd they make this so low res? It bothers me. It sticks out like a sore thumb in the inventory. I I can't even tell what it's what it's supposed to be. Thank you for putting the mod pack code. My pleasure, dude. Also, just a PSA to everyone out there. Please stop putting your mod packs in the public section on Thunderstore. You don't need to make a mod pack so your friends can play the same mods as you. You just need to make a code. I'm tired of going on the Thunderstore and only seeing mod packs when I'm trying to download mods. It's so annoying. Stop doing that. My dad will beat you up if you do it. Trust, trust. He's fucking ripped. Uh, serrated Blade. 20% chance to apply a blot on hit. Blot inflicts damage equal to blot times 40% of the attacker's base damage. Dude, this is like fucking ninth grade calculus. I'm... I don't even care. I'm not even gonna think about that item anymore. Solve for blot. Disputed Origin's dad killed my family. He is a convicted felon. He's fucking awesome. <laughs> Free death mark proc? I guess. Yeah, I, you know what? I like plot. That's a, uh, that's a good debuff. It does something. I'm sure. Why are you Five Night Freddy? Dude, shut the hell up and enjoy the goddamn live stream. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you, your guys' shit. Okay, there's the fucking Leptin firework. Hell yeah. Look at it go. Look at it go. Do it again. Do it again. That's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so cool when it happens. By Five Nights at Freddy's not thick. Yeah, you know what? You're asking the right questions. Somebody mod that man. That's a fucking smart man. He, he, that, that guy reminds me of my dad. Just an incredible human being. Can you play Five Nights Febby? Uh, next month, we're going to be playing that. I actually have played the first two games on stream. It's kind of a yearly thing. This year we're playing three. So, put it on your calendars. October 9th. It's happening. Yeah, bub internal item... External item slug. It's a great item. This is, this is one of my favorites. It did a great job. Chalk chip. Dude, it's fucking... <laughs> it's fucking... <laughs> race when he eats a cookie. <laughs> Reduce the duration of positive status effects by one second. Reduce the duration of negative status effects by 0.2 seconds. Uh, maybe. I don't think I will. Chalk it. Do you want it to do it in, in Wranglish? 
uh, aggressive insect. On hit, inflict a debuff that causes 5% damage loss and takes 25% armor. No. That almost killed me last time, so I'm just going to say no. Be safe. Okay. There's another one here. Adrenaline Frenzy on kill. Gain 6% sprint speed for 10 seconds. On hit, gain 12% sprint it, sprint speed. Or on kill, sorry. Having trouble reading today. There is a dog licking my foot right now. If I die, I'm blaming it on that. Hey. What do you need? I'll be right back. I don't know what she's doing. She just freaks out occasionally. My dog is very obsessive. Like if I if she, if I'm not within five feet of her, she starts freaking out. It's really sad, actually. She's had some trauma, and she's just like ultra bonded to me. I've never seen a dog more attached to a human being in my life. I go out to get the mail, I come back in, and it's like I've been gone for 20 years. I think most dogs are like that, but with her, it's like times 10. She's a tiny little thing. She's like 12, and she weighs 4 pounds. She's really fucking small. People think she's a puppy because of her size. But nah. You collect males? What does that even mean? Lord Error? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Can you whimper into the mic? Why are you requesting such a thing? Spencer Wilson? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking find you on Facebook and then tell your mom you requested me to whimper into my mic. Do it, no balls. Oh, now I have to do it. Now that you said that. We need men whim whimpering. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Shut the hell up and enjoy the damn live stream. For God's sake. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, I'm not... I'm not engaging with this whim whimper conversation anymore. What the fuck are these items? Do they do anything? Jellied souls? Okay. I guess. Like, why even put it in the mod if it's not ready? Calm down. I don't know if you can hear that. My dog is still yelling at me. We need crabs whimpering. Shut up. There will be no crabs. There's rule one of disputedorigin.com slash twitch slash YouTube. You do not speak of crabs. Tell her she's a good girl. You're a fucking rat. You need to calm down. Dog. It worked. <laughs> okay. 
she just does this sometimes for an indeterminate amount of time and then she'll go to sleep. Is your origin ever disputed? It might be. I don't know. I haven't checked recently. Domestic violence tends to upset small animals. You think this is domestic violence? From Omar with love. Who's Omar? Hack the chest uh, or a shrine to reduce its cost to zero, limited to one use per stage. Okay, so this is like the key from the first game, I believe. Okay, I'm going to put her in my lap so she'll calm down. Now she's licking my gaming hand. Oh. No. Why haven't they put you in a home yet, old man? Because I... I'm rooting and tooting. That's why. Next question. Will you be doing a her burden run? What the hell is that? Oh, is that the... The... The sex toy mod? No, that I will not be doing that. You only have one gaming hand? Uh, yeah. How many gaming hands do you have? I only uh, work out my right arm when I go to the gym. That's my gaming hand. It's the most important one. Why waste time with the non-gaming hand? Okay. I feel like I'm not really healing. I don't know what this little schmutz on my health bar is. Looks like barrier. Probably is, because half of these items are fucking barrier related. Where can you get the mod asking for a friend? Which mod? Oh, the dildo mod? Uh, it's somewhere on the Thunder Story. A lot of people uh, thought I made the Future of Heresy Pregnancy mod when that video came out because you have to like enable a setting on the Thunder Store to see it. So a lot of people just didn't see it. They're like, oh my god, he made this mod specifically for the video. Which I think is really funny. <laughs> people think I go to the effort to make an entire fucking mod for that video. Okay, uh... Ping targets take an additional 5%. Okay. That seems good. That's interesting. I really like that one. It gives more reason to ping enemies. Okay, I need to use the Omar. Who the fuck is Omar? <laughs> Still don't know. The person that made this mod, I guess. There's a pregnancy mod? Yeah, I made a video on it, like, a year and a half ago. One of my personal favorite videos. I think it's one of the better ones on my channel. I always do something for April Fool's Day. My favorite time of year, because you can post anything you want, and you won't get in trouble. Well, not anything, but... You have an excuse to get away with things you don't normally get away with. King the worm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to forget to do that every single time. What was it? I, was it, I think it was a five. Oh, shit. Stop. Okay, I broke my drumstick. This is a disaster. Fuck, dude. I have zero healing. I need to... Okay. I'm dead. This is really hard, actually. I thought this would be really unbalanced, but no, it's actually pretty difficult. That one April Fool's video of your dad committing war crimes in Iraq was a good one, dude. My dad's fucking awesome. Don't talk shit about my dad. He'll beat you up. Don't fucking go to Walmart tomorrow. My dad's there and he's ready. All right, what do we got? Red mask, 10% chance to make enemies weak for five seconds. Um, uh, maybe. 
Maybe. Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Why are you guys surprised? I've been playing with Five Nights at Freddy's characters for like three weeks now. <laughs> you guys are surprised. Every time I switch to a new one, you're like, oh my god. That's crazy. What will he think of next? Constant flow. Move 7% faster. Slowing effects are 20% weaker against you. Rooting effects no longer root you and instead slow you down by 90%. So much to that item. I like the ones that are like increased damage by 10%. Cool. I understand the item completely. But these ones, they have like 20 effects. My brain just will not compute it. Four seconds after I pick it up, I'll forget what it does. Jumping creates a slowing explosion that deals 150. Uh, percent. Okay, so this is like budget head stompers. Not really. It's actually kind of bad. I guess. It's never going to be a good damage source, though. Like, look at how long it takes me to kill one enemy with just jumps here. Maybe it has a good proc coefficient or something. Will you be playing as Monty Gator? Maybe, if you're lucky. Yes, nicely. Might consider it. But nobody can bring up crabs ever again in this stream. That's the deal. Okay? Don't bring up crabs, and I will play Monty... Uh, what's his name? Monty Gator... you don't play Monty Gator, I will cry. Well, we can't have that. We can't have Pacific crying. Now can we? Okay. What do we got? <sighs> All these mods and no faster shrines. I probably could have put that on. I just forgot. Gain 60 max HP every lunar item you have. That's not very good right now, but it has potential. I need to start hitting the blue portals. Let's see. There's one up here. No. Here we go. We'll get some lunars in here. What do we got? Booster boots. The second boot item. 25% uh, movement speed. Two seconds after using your utility skill. So is that the utility? No, it's my shift. That's really good on loader then. I think, right? Yeah. Because speed is damage. With the shift. Hell yeah. Okay, I have to punch immediately, though, or it goes away. I can't hold it for very long. Good to know. Okay. Feeling good about this run. Feeling that pretty good about this run. I've got so many different pairs of boots right now. You don't even know. You don't even fucking know. Who wins in a fight between Mythrix and Goku? Probably Goku. Goku's... Uh. Goku's very busted. I should try Goku one of these days. Last time... I tried him was like two years ago, and I didn't really like the physics. With Goku, I remember you would punch an enemy, and it would completely halt all of your forward momentum, and that really off-put it. 
or it really put me off for a while. Goku doesn't need items. I, I remember him being really OP, and I remember him adding 50 different HUD elements to the screen. I've been trying to get into uh, One Piece. I watched, like, the first 170 episodes, uh, like, seven years ago, a long time ago. So I'm restarting. And I'll be honest, I'm having a hard time with it. I've been told it gets good at, like, episode 200, but I don't know if I have it in me to get, to get there. I'm, like, 60 episodes in right now. Feels like it's, uh, it's really slow. I mean, and of course it is. It's a thousand episodes, but I don't know. The anime gets worse over time. Well, that's not, that's not good news. Cracked Orb gain, uh, 15 experience when using a shrine. After episode 875, it starts to get good. I mean, at what point <laughs> is it, do you just say, uh, I, it's not for me. I mean, there's a lot of elements I like about it. I think the characters are really cool. Uh, it's just hard for me because it feels like it doesn't take itself seriously. And I, I like it when fiction takes a more grounded approach, I guess. A lot of anime doesn't do that. Um, it'll be like serious one moment and then goofy the next. I have a really hard time with that. It gives me whiplash. Or just when things don't make sense. Like a fall will kill somebody in one episode, and then in the next, it barely leaves a scratch. It's like, well, I don't know. It's hard to get invested in that type of thing. Um, but I'm very biased. Earlier this year, I read all of the Cosmere stuff. Brandon Sanderson race got me into it. You guys fucking owe it to yourself to read Brandon Sanderson's work. He fucking... He's so fucking amazing. It's great storytelling. I don't want to really spoil it. I want it to be kind of unknown. That's the best way to experience it, but it, some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, Check out Brandon Sanderson. That's all I'll say. Best storytelling I've ever heard. Like, I've never cried at any media ever in my life uh like reading his books i cried multiple times if that says anything uh okay so pizza box what the fuck right, we'll just get all of these whatever what could go wrong here this is so much replace your utility skill with block enter a defensive stance for uh 0.5 seconds deflecting first non-periodic hit Depending for how long you are in the stance, gain 3 to 1 damage buffs. If you have damage buffs when using block, your primary skill gets replaced with release. Using release will consume all damage buffs and deal 1000% base damage per stack to everyone in a 15 meter radius. Release has increased proc coefficient. You can now have up to 8 stacks of damage buff. What the fuck? <laughs> it's, a, it's a fucking pizza box. Uh, enemies hit by your attacks will be pulled towards you uh, starting at 3x force. Okay, that's how you do a description. Relic of... Ma oh, fuck. What did I do? Increase maximum health by 100%. Reduce acceleration by a factor of 8. Oh, boy. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop. Stop. Oh, what, what? I can't punch. Oh, what have I done? Enter a defensive stance. Okay. Well, the good news is I have a mod on that adds Lunar Scrap as an item. Read the description first. Dude, if I was going to read that description first, I'd have to ping it like 40 different times. Not doing that. Okay. <laughs> this is amazing. Let's get bands so I can't proc them. No, okay. We need to find a scrapper. I can just get rid of him. Right? I think, okay, here we go. 
Ha ha ha. Uh, enemy is hit by your attack. So what is the downside of this? It's that they're pulled towards you, I guess. Okay, I can't scrap all of them, actually. I guess because it's from a certain mod, it doesn't give me the option. They're not compatible. But at least I got rid of whatever trash I just had. Fucking pizza box. I think there's one mod in here that's just like a meme. And it's a parody of other item mods. And I think that's what that pizza box item was. I don't think that was intended to be taken seriously. Such a shitty item. Have you guys ever played the Dick Balls mod? It got deprecated, like, around the time the DLC came out, but... Holy shit, that's a mod and a half. It adds Dick Balls as an item, and it's by far the most overpowered item in the game. Nothing ever comes close to the power of Dick Balls. Uh, no. Ah, shit. Didn't get here in time. I don't know if that will work. We'll see. No. Where do you use your lunar scrap? That's a good question. I guess it might just be a way to get rid of lunar items. If I had to guess. Really? That one didn't work either? Cleansing pool? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I could do that. I think... Okay. I think that one will work. Should. On the button? Okay. Nice. Okay, we're gonna have bands here. This should be easy. Should be really easy. If we have loader and we have bands, we should not die, in theory. Hello? Don't die to these guys, like, fucking cap. I think about it, blue scrap should be base game. I don't agree. It's like a, it's a trade-off. You can get rid of them in the cleansing pools, but I think it kind of defeats the purpose of Lunars when you can get rid of them really easily. Just a little bit. I do wish there was some way to get rid of void items, though. Like, some cleansing pool equivalent for void items. I have shift-ass polar field. Dude, don't hit on polar field. Do not hit on polar field, please. Please. My dad will cry. Uh, Tactician's Manual. Your next strike deals 20% more damage, has a cooldown of 10 seconds. Okay, that's good. I, you can, uh, synchronize that with the band cooldown. Fuck, Polar, don't, please don't say that. You'll make my dad cry. Please don't say such things. You have five health. Die, please. Oh, cap. Cap, cap, cap. You can't, you can't say things like that. Not anymore. Not in, not in the year of our Lord, 2023. You can't be saying Polar Field is bad. No fucking way. Thoughts on Christmas? What do you mean, thoughts on Christmas? It's cool. 
<laughs> what do you want me to say? Dude, the fucking the war on Christmas. I don't like it. I don't like it. There's a fucking war on Christmas. We can take them all out. I, I served on the front lines in the, in the war on Christmas. Saw my buddy get blown up in front of me. It's the sickest time of year. Bung Hoarder taking a break from aspect grinding. Oh yeah, so I haven't talked about this yet, but I am going to go back to do the aspect run. Um, I did technically beat it in the last stream, but I, I cheated. I don't feel right about leaving it there. I want to do a legit run with everything I've learned. And there's also a mod I can use to make it so I can have the aspects permanently, which I think would be more fun. It's called Zet Aspect or something. Um, I'm going to be trying that out for the last one. I fully intend on this being my last attempt at it, though. And I want to do that next week, maybe. Um, but I, I was supposed to do that today for the video, but I, I, I'm sick of it. Also, I uh, just want to point out, in the last race, I got a fucking fire aspect with zero clovers when I didn't want it. I swear to God, every time I race, it's like the universe has it out for me. They're like, okay, so you're doing RD speed runs? We're never going to give you an ignition tank. You're racing now? All right, we'll give you four ignition tank printers. You're grinding for aspects? We're not going to give you any. You're racing? We'll give you an aspect. Like, all right, so what is this? Every hit is capable of activating Singularity Band. Oh, shit. Serpent's Band, Renault Band, and Kaijaro Band, regardless of the damage of the attack. So every hit is capable of activating bands now? Oh, that's kind of shitty, honestly. So if I... If I'm understanding correctly, if I hit something with Spike Fist, that would proc bands? That'd be a waste. So let's see. Ah, dude. I hate that. That's... That's horrible. I want to get rid of that. This is not a Lunar. Okay, what the fuck? Kaijaro Band? Dude, don't make fun of How the fuck is it pronounced? You don't fucking see Kaijaro in the dictionary, do you? Don't make fun of my pronunciation. It's pronounced however the hell you want to pronounce it. Don't fucking grandstand me with a made-up word. Okay. Kayaharho. That's how I want to say it, and that's how I'm going to say it. It's pronounced Kayaharho. Dude, you don't fucking know that. How do you guys know how it's pronounced? All right. Manners, please. Illegal drone coolant. Your drones are overclocked to gain 10% attack speed and 20% chance to burn enemies for 100% base damage. I need to buy some drones. That's what I'm understanding. Wrench. Gain a random boost, being attack speed, damage, or movement speed. The last two seconds after... Uh, ugh, sorry. Entering danger. Um, and then... This was the Wisp one. That one was horrible. So I'll take this. I like Polar Field because it makes Bubble Shield look even worse. It does. It's just better Bubble Shield. It has permanent uptime too. Lasts 12 seconds and has a 12 second cooldown. Like, psh, get out of here. You're saying it's bad. What the hell is that? Okay. My brother is named Kajaro, and he pronounces it the traditional Norse way, Kajaro. Is that a real name? I thought that was just something the developers made up. Maybe I'm wrong. thought it was like some Wranglish type deal.
I stand corrected. Maybe there is a cor correct pronunciation. I'm still not going to say it, but there might be one. Pretty sure it's now a name the closest would be Chiaro. That's not a name. Nobody's fucking named Chiaro. Get out of here. Uh, I'll get the mortar. Mortar seemed good. Um, what do we got? Spine implant. Increase armor by 20. That's right. I saw that before. Firework dagger. When you proc, when you hit an enemy, you have a 10% chance to proc fireworks. Okay, we'll go with that one, I guess. I want to get rid of this red so badly. Yes, yes, yes. Come here. This thing sucks. Good. Okay. Um, teleporter events start with only 90% of the boss credit. King in the air, increases movement speed. We'll go with that one. That one seems good. On loader. Uh, and I think I want to go with the gas here. Oh, no, that's not even gas. I got confused. Guess the firework dagger, maybe. I want to get ICBM with some of these. I feel like it'd be cool. My chances of seeing that item are very low. Most cursed item I found, the pizza. We had it last stage. It was like four paragraphs long. And it got rid of my shift and replaced it with something that dealt no damage. Okay, barbed wire deal. 50% damage a second to enemies within five meters. Not bad. Imagine if I had that with the the other red that Prox bans. Would have just wasted everything. Yo, how you doing, Milkman? Good to see you. Long time no see. Dude, one of my favorite... Ah, oh, that reminded me of something so funny. One of my favorite Monty Python skits. <laughs> it's, uh, it's called The Milkman. And uh, <laughs> it starts... It's got this milkman, right? And he comes up to a house... And then, like, some st scantily clad woman shows up and is like, well, hello, right this way. And then he's like, oh, oh, my God. And then he goes in the house and she's like, right in this room. And then he goes in the room. <laughs> he goes in the room and he sees, like, 50 milkmen in there, just at di different states of decomposition. <laughs> it's, it's so good. That gonna kill? Please kill. Fuck. It's a bunch of fucking milkman skeletons. I'm sure you could find it. Just look up Milkman Monty Python. It's so fucking funny. I'm the milkman, my milk tastes delicious. I believe you, sir. I believe you. I'm sure you have the best milk. This side of the Mississippi. Okay, Mired Iron. What the hell is this item? Start making sense. What does the new red do? Uh, this one? I already forgot. Reduce skill cooldowns by one second. On kill. Oh. That's nice. It's like a bandolier, kind of. I don't know that that needs to be a red item. I think on loader, it's meh. I can see it being good on other survivors, though. See that being really good on Artie. But loader is kind of bottlenecked by band procs and the cooldown. So it, it, reducing the cooldown doesn't really have a huge effect. I guess if I go into a build with loader that isn't band centric, it'd be all right. It's certainly better than the last one, though. The last one was dog shit.
the Soulbound, but for skills. What is this white, like, buff or debuff or something? I think it's a debuff. I still have yet to see what the nullified enemies actually do. Maybe it's related. What are you? Alpha Construct. Oh, my bad. I will not fuck with you. I apologize. Metronome. Is it going to do that the entire time? A rhythm indicator appears over your skills using a secondary utility or special skill with the rhythm grants 5% critical strike chance. 0.5 critical strike chance until the end of the stage. Oh, I see. So it's down here. So if I... That's a really tight window. So I'm gaining crit by doing this. Interesting. So it's just any skill, I guess. Interesting. Interesting. Can I punch? Okay, I guess I can't use my primary to do it. But I can use my secondary and just never touch the ground with it. I feel like this was not well thought out for the M2 here. It doesn't even register. Or it registers sometimes when I clearly didn't hit it. Like there. Should not have gotten that. Okay, well. I'm already done with the stage, so I guess I'm just kind of wasting time by doing that. It's fun, though. It's hypnotic. I think that uh, the noise is going to get annoying, though. Okay, let's get out of here. How would that work on rail gunner? I guess you'd have two meters on gunner. I'm trying to like, can I use two abilities and get two? Can I cheat the system? I don't think I can. All right, well. I'm gonna get killed just trying to fucking get my metronomes in. What the fuck are you? <gasps> Hello? He dodged it. Oh my god. A Sanjuine. A Szechuan Stone Golem. The fuck? Dude, how do I kill him? He's too good. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Holy fuck. <laughs> what are you? What do I do? Okay. You're dead, I guess. I don't know what causes them to teleport away. I don't like that. Alright, I need to focus up here. I think I hit a beetle there. There we go. This urn is really helping out. Die, please. He's gonna start sucking. He's gonna start sucking and fucking soon. God damn it. I think I hit this teleporter a little bit early. That's not even a boss, Dune Strider.
Please die. No, he was almost dead. I should have just finished him off. Shit. Oh, no. He's getting so much health back. Okay. That'll kill you. Okay. That was a mountain shrine. That's why that was the way it was. Alright, double fuel cell. Not bad, not bad. I know this item. Every time I catch you on stream, you're at Sun and Grove. I mean... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Let me know if I can make it up to you. I mean, that's actually a good thing. It means I'm getting through the run. It could just be stage one every time. Which is basically what happens when you speedrun. It's just stage one simulator. And sometimes stage two. I do need to go for that, though. Okay. I guess I have... Oh, I have a mod on that lets bosses drop items, I think. I think that's what that is. I assumed it would be yellow items, but I guess it could just be normal ones too. There's been a couple times where I've just seen random drops on the ground. I've wondered what it was. I think it's that mod. It'd be cool to uh, to do this with like the, uh, the 24 hours on stage one thing and just see what happens. put on artifact of sacrifice and just go. I might do that at some point. I've been meaning to revisit that challenge. I think it's a really fun one. I've done it like I think twice or two or three times now over the years. And uh, I forget like every time I do it, I forget how long 24 hours actually is because I don't remember doing the challenge. I just remember completing it. And then I do it, and I'm like, oh my god, this is a horrible mistake. And that happens every time. So, I'm looking forward to learning nothing and doing that again at some point. Bison steak? Oh, hell yes. Start it now. Yeah, let me do a 24-hour stream. I do want to do, like, another marathon. I guess the longest one we did this year was the, um... The every survivor in one run. And I think that was, like... 13 or 14 hours, something like that. That one was really fun. Probably uh, more fun than sitting on stage one for 18 hours, 24 hours. Meow Lament. 0.5 chance to instantly kill an enemy on hit. Stacks up to 1.5 chance. So this is just Lost Seers. This is literally just Lost Seers. I'm not taking it. Gain 25% more gold from killing enemies. Nice. She who the fuck? Is Planet Sheen. After using a non-primary ability, gain one stack of buff. Uh, dealing damage with primary ability while having said buff will cause a target to take additional damage. I don't understand any of this. Hold on. Let me get rid of this gup. Uh, while having this buff will cause target to take additional 250% base damage and consume one stack of buff. Buff can be stacked up to two times. Buff application has a 1.5 second cooldown. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Whatever. The only thing I know about buff is my dad is fucking buff as shit, so. Let me take your item and shove it. Arms race. Own drones and turrets have 5% chance to launch mortar and a 4% chance to fire a missile for 150% and 150% retrospectively. Okay, that one makes sense. First equipment, let's go. Subbed and liked? Hell yeah. If your dad is awesome, like the stream. If you hate your dad, also like the stream. If your dad is awesome and you hate him, uh, hit the like button twice. 
It's genius. Fireworks. Interesting. There, there's so many different firework items. Could be worth it to invest. Doctor's bag. Gain 10% to critically heal, doubling your healing received. Interesting. So we can have heals that crit. What if I'm indifferent to my dad? Then you are a psychopath. My friend. You need to have some kind of feeling about your dad. It's called being human. Nobody doesn't have feelings towards their dad. You gotta feel about your dad in some kind of way. Right? I've been saying that for years. What if I never met my dad? Asking for a friend. Well, then you have some... You probably have some deep-seated issues. You have some feelings, I'm sure. Especially if you've never met your dad. I, I would think you'd have feelings about your dad. Right? Am I crazy for thinking that? Everybody, like, has some kind of emotion towards their dad. When you, when you really sit down to think about it, I've contemplated this many a moon. And, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm pretty- Oh my god! <laughs> I got fucking woolied. It's fine. Not necessarily, dude. Who here has zero feelings about their dad? Nobody. Nobody. I'll tell you right now, the answer to that question is zero. Now, if you don't have a dad, if you're like a, a test tube baby, maybe, maybe you get a pass. Maybe you get a pass. I don't know. I am haven't decided yet. It'll take more hours of meditation. I have feelings for your dad. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to get in line, bud. A lot of people do. Because he's fucking awesome. Uh, extra ter terrestrial exhaust. Oh, uh, fuck. Upon activating a skill, fire a rocket uh, for every two seconds of the skill's cooldown. Ah, oh, it's a corrupted firework. I should have gone into the printer. All right, we'll take it. Okay. It's got the obnoxious plasma shrimp sound. I love that. It's one of my favorite things. Why, fucking Hopu, why did you make Plasma Shrimp sound this way? <laughs> it's the worst noise in this game. It's so bad. I actually have it disabled right now. Give me some crit. Before we fight Mithrix, I can definitely do that. I just want to fight Mithrix. I don't know about looping. Fight Mithrix and we'll do one more run, maybe. I didn't even pick it up. Hunter's Mark. Oh, shit. It's a Bloodborne reference, I believe. Critical strikes increase your chance to activate other items by 1%. Oh, my God. Uh, maximum cap of 10. Okay. Seems reasonable. Give me that. Dad, no. Oh, shit. Okay, how am I gonna kill that dad? How am I going to kill him? Kind of complicated on loader. Okay, is there a spot I can go? If I go, like, back here, I think I'm safe. Just 
Got to survive back here for a little bit. Hey. Okay. This is good. He'll nuke the map a little bit. Ow, 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 ow. Hey. No, you fucker. Okay, good. Hey, that's a lot of damage. Some of these guys are really strong. This construct guy is freaking me out. Sigma construct. Oh, yeah. No wonder I'm missing half my health. I didn't realize who I was dealing with. Oh, good. Thank you for dying. Ugh. All right, just survive, just survive. I want to find Mithrix. Please stop. I'm going to die. I need to get out of here. Stop. Holy shit. I will take the planula. Things are hitting me, and I'm not even sure what they are. Okay, here we go. Fireworks hit him, please. Why are these fireworks doing nothing? I hate it when that happens. It's when you're just trying to hit an enemy, and the fireworks will, like, spin around the enemy. Or, uh, it'll, it'll happen more often when you're using a railgunner's primary... And it just doesn't hit the enemy. It'll do like 50 loops around it and then not hit it. That's a classic. How you doing, Leland? What up? That's a good question. Hey. Now this is a, this is an English only chat room. Uh, I need to understand what you're saying. You could be saying something horrible. And I have no idea. Sub didn't like the stream. That is pretty horrible. <laughs> when you think about it. Alright, here we go. Thank you, by the way. You must have a cool dad. If you're doing that. ATG. Give, give, give. Smart shopper. Kind of useless at this point, but it is what it is. What do we got? Oh, he, my favorite. Bub Ceremonial Probe underscore name. It's a great item. That is a great item. XQR is one of the best primaries for me. It's so good when you don't have to aim. When it works. Sometimes it just doesn't want to hit enemies. Okay. Oh, I guess I have the option of looping. I think I'm just going to fight Bethrix. I actually have to go in not too long. Oh, fuck. Okay, like, let's, uh, we're going, we're going. Before I die horribly. Like last run. We're just doing it. I want to look for ICBM in the soup. I'll also show you guys the new tech. Obviously, you don't need to do it on loader, but I think you can if you want to. The new tech is crazy. All it requires is safer spaces on pretty much anybody, except multi. Although multi, multi has a different setup, but it's really difficult. 
This is going to blow your guys' mind. Get ready. This is the most revolutionary discovery in the history of this game. I don't think anything will ever top it. Before we do that, let's see what's in soup. Oh, shit. There is an ICBM. Okay, you think this will get rid of my ATG? It probably will, but... Oh, no, I kept it. Nice. Beautiful. All right, so check this shit out. So what you do... So I'm on loader. Obviously, I can just get up there. Um, but if you just have safer spaces, what you do is you stand up here. You jump down into this spot, okay? And then make sure you're pressing W. You can sprint at the end. And you'll go up, right? You transfer the momentum. You can go back down and do it again. Get a little bit more height. And we go again. Well, head stompers, there's a, a different setup that's faster. Come down here. Same thing. Not quite enough. That's fine. We'll do one more. Sometimes you can get a little bit too much height. I think that's what happened there. Okay, well, you guys get the idea. I'll uh, I'll show I'll actually show that off after this run. How you do that? It's really crazy. Stop. Why doesn't it work on multi? Because he's fat or something. He just has a different hitbox. And it. I think it might be a little bit different on loader too. I've never actually tested it on loader. Obviously, because you don't need to. But on like engineer, captain, huntress, commando. Uh, who else? The void fiend. Acrid can do it itemless now using a similar setup. Uh, Cap is making a video on it. Yo, Mike Sh Scoots, welcome to Grandchild, my friend. Welcome to Grandchild. We're glad you're here. Holy shit, that's a lot of shrimp. Or fireworks or something. I'm the grandchild. Enjoy your emotes, and you will be thanked at the end of all my videos. Okay. These, uh, fireworks are really not doing that much, unfortunately. I should, uh, I should start trying to grind some crit here. Only at 12 crit. Damn, dude. Just get as much as humanly possible here. It's so broken with this M2. There we go. Okay, we're dealing some damage. You dead? Nope. Oh. 
Yo, Westy the Testy, <laughs> welcome to Grandchild. <laughs> Hell yeah. There we go. Should have waited on that, I guess. Stop. I always tell them to stop, like, they're gonna fucking listen. Oh yeah, dude. I'm sorry. My bad. I was being super on chill. I'll stop now. You're dead. Those ATG procs are very powerful. Trying to get an ATG band proc here. Don't think it's gonna happen. Oh. I don't think it was that. Looked close, but not quite. Here we go. Oh, what's happening? He's getting pushed. My fireworks are pushing him. Stop. Get rid of some of the adds there. That'll be nice. Jump into the pool of lava, of course. Beautiful. Could I just like, I could feasibly just sit on top of one of the pillars. Ow. Like, could I just sit up here? Ow. And just like farm this? I guess I can't because of pizza, but I could have last phase. I'm about to die. Fuck. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. A proc band somewhere? Okay. Ah. <laughs> I'm struggling. I don't know why I'm so bad today. Oh, I got a heal. Nice. You're dead. Nice. All right. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Mithrix is going to have a few wild cards. Oh, he's got... I've picked up plenty of the fuck. Okay. Okay, buddy. I got back my lunar scrap, thank god. He's gonna get the fireworks. Uh, it might not matter, unless he shoots him out. If he gets the tracking fireworks when he does this. Okay. I think it's okay. Somehow that proc bans. I don't even think I had bans back. There we go. Oh, I resets the metronome. God damn it. All right. Well, that's it. We're going to show off the pillar skip. This shit is crazy. You guys are going to want to stick around. This is the most innovative shit you've ever seen. So stick around. This was discovered like yesterday. Right?
right, Westy the Testy? Um, I believe Xenon found this, so big shout out to him. I, I had a feeling there was a different spot you could use to get up. Because we knew the one spot over there for a while, for a couple weeks. Who discovered the skip? Host initially did, but this new one was discovered by Xenon. Was it the one used in the race? No, 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 no. Well, yes, but there's a new variant of it that's even more powerful. The old one, you need to have headset, and you could also skip with just safer spaces on Rex. Didn't work on anyone else, it was just Rex. New one works on Commando, Huntress, Engineer, Captain, uh, Void Fiend. Um, who else needs a skip? I think it technically works on Mercenary. Um, multi, there is a setup. It's just really hard and different. Um, it adds a lot. You do need a little bit of speed, I think just so you can maneuver in the air, but it's not a lot. It's not a lot, so. And also, if you play in Monsoon, it, you don't even need spaces because you can't die to fall damage. You can just skip no matter what. Or if even if you're before Eclipse 3, you can skip. It's insane. All right, so first we're going to do no enemies. Give underscore item safer. Uh, set scene moon to. I'm also going to give myself a whip. This is all you need, and you can skip pillars. It's insane. Okay. So it's the same spot. It's by soup. No multi. Yeah, multi gets goes in a weird way. I can try the multi one. The multi one has a different spot. It's uh, next to mass pillars. It's like over here. Like, he technically can. Alright. It is a little bit precise. Because you can go too far or not far enough, depending on how you do it. But if you start from up here... Uh, what you do? Just jump down. In this spot specifically. I'm not moving. Now I'm pressing W. Sprinting. Alright. And then, when you're up here, you're gonna wanna air stall, so you can get the spaces cooled down back. I think that should be enough. Should be back in time, I think. Yeah. And then you do it again. think we need one more here. Ah, shit. Okay, I don't think this is going to work, actually. Um, you see how it works, though. Oh, maybe. I'm gonna hit my head. Yeah. Oh, I got it. So that's all you need to do. Isn't this crazy? Let me try it on uh, somebody that doesn't have air stall. I think. All right, so we'll do engineer. Spawn as engineer. So I think you can still do it with Engineer. You, this is where you need speed, though. Because I don't think your safer space's cooldown comes back in time if you don't have a little bit of speed. I think I'm good. Please come back in time. Just barely comes back. You have to jump from the top wrong, or it's not going to work. This is 
going to be enough. Yeah, baby. Ah. It's so good. It's so fucking perfect. You get just enough height to get up there. That's beautiful. You can trade as a captain, too. But it should be basically the same. I'll show you guys why it doesn't work on multi. down. It is kind of a precise spot. There's another node next to it that you can hit sometimes if you're not far back enough in that corner. You just want to stick far back enough. Make sure you're not pressing W too much. You do want to press W when you launch up. Otherwise, it's not going to work, but this be enough? Ah, yeah. It's so good. It's such a cool trick. This is so revolutionary. You can get safer spaces in like probably 40 to 50% of your runs anyway. New speedrunning breakpoint. For speedruns, I don't think it'll matter that much because Vase is still going to be faster. You have to walk all the way over here. Um, but it is very good for races. Uh, spawn as multi. You'll see it doesn't work as him because he has a weird hitbox. Just goes at a weird angle. So you do that, and then it's like you can't get back over. Maybe I can. Okay, so I can here. Oh, shit. It worked. <laughs> yeah, so multi has a different setup. I can try it with two safer spaces there. I need to make sure I give myself um, Dio's so I don't do that. I'm just going to item whip. Bop, 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 bop. So the um the one for multi is a little bit a little bit different. Am I gonna be streaming late? No, I'm actually about to end here. Just wanna show you guys this before I did. So it uses a combination of the old setup and the new one. And I have yet to get it down. Even in, like, the tutorial video, he didn't get it without taking fall damage. Um, essentially, what you want to do is get up here and use that jump point to get up here. Um, ah, fuck, dude. Oh, my God. I was trying to no-clip. Okay, I guess I'll just show off that one. That's the, the first part is honestly the hardest one it's just getting up there to that spot without taking fall damage which you can do with feathers um or i guess stompers but if you have stompers you don't need to get up there you just do it the normal way but essentially what you want to do is you come to this spot you jump down I'm pressing W and D here. You want to get up there. Um, which I have not perfected. I won't try it out here. Still need to work on the timing. But there's a spot here. You see this little crack here? What you want to do is you want to jump down in between it. And then you look at the top of that rock there and you go up and then you jump down again 
spaces. Will you come back? So I think the last one is a little bit tricky. So you look at the... Ah, shit. You're supposed to use, like, the top of this uh, meteor in the background to guide you. That thing. You're supposed to look at the top of that. I think I spawned on the wrong node. How much speed do you need for this? This one, I don't think you need any speed, technically. Zero. Maybe I'm going too far forward. This one is a lot more precise. I've yet to actually pull it off successfully. I was on the right track there. Hmm. Okay, maybe I want to go farther forward. When I do that, that would make sense. Where am I looking? No? Maybe further back? Like back here? I have it like two seconds ago. What am I doing wrong? What's the goal? I'm trying to pillar skip. I had the right spot. I lost it somehow. Maybe it's just like directly in between these rocks. Like do that. Fuck. Hmm. Closer to the jump point. Like down here maybe. Might have to look at the video again. That's too far. I had it like five seconds ago. I got it twice. It's in this general area. Okay, there we go. So that's one. So just kind of in between these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. It's not working because I'm not wearing a Five Nights at Freddy skin. Uh, you're probably right. Holy shit. Beautiful. So, let me try it without the speed. But I think you should technically be able to do it. I think all it requires is safer spaces. And if you're in Monsoon, or, like, anything below Eclipse 3, this should work. Alright, and then look at the top of the meteor. Beautiful. Air stall. I think you probably have to be more precise when you don't have... Uh, shit. I don't know if that's going to be right. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's looking good. No, that's not going to work. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think it's kind of precise when you don't have movement speed. Let me try that one more time. This will work on every character too. Yeah, the, the spot I was using over there is better. This one you just have to do for multi because he doesn't work in that spot. 
Other ones have an easier setup. So we're up here. Should get back. It's just a lot harder to get back to the spot you need to be in. And that's going to fuck me. Yeah. Um, and then if you guys want to see the Rex one, Rex can also do it with uh, just safer spaces. Uh, spawn as Rex. We've known about this one for a little while. This is the first one we found. So for this one, just come back to this spot. It's closer. Um, and then I like being in between these two. So number two and number three here. Just jump. You jump down. And then you look in between that thing and that thing. You shift immediately. And then you go back. There again. No, fuck. Didn't get it there. If you have a little bit of movement speed, um, it works better. Is this a Rex only setup? Railgunner can also do this, and I showed that off in one of the races. Let me uh, try getting a little bit more height here. So if I do that, and then I go down, that should be enough. Should be able to get into get it into. I'll show you guys the railgunner one in a second. It's railgunner. Railgunner can skip on her own, but if you have like polar field, it's harder. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Uh, as. Railgunner. I guess it's probably easier if we just fall. It's very easy. This one is not that precise. The multi one is pretty difficult. So I'll, I just need to wait for my safer spaces for a second. With Railgunner, what you want to do, assuming you don't have the the mines, you want to jump and then shoot yourself down like that. Use the momentum. And then you want to immediately start shooting down. This might not be enough. It's really precise when you don't have any attack speed. Having like a singular mocha makes it a lot easier. See, I, I'm barely not getting enough. I do give item mocha. You can technically do it without any, though. Just for demonstration purposes. Basically, the way this works is you're getting extra uh, momentum by using your M1 to get you down. There we go. Easy. 17 shots upward with no speed. That sounds about right. I think that's what Cap was saying. If you start from higher, do you fall more? You do. You do. So, like, even having a feather would make that easier. Let's uh, try it with a new spot. See if you can get that in one. Like, if you wanted to check soup, for example be useful to know there's also i think a new acrid setup that's itemless because if you use your shift you don't take fall damage so we'll have to check that one out all right so again we get up to this spot I'm not going to use the uh, the M1 here, because actually having 
too much height can fuck you with this spot. It can be a problem. I'll do it a little bit just to air stall. But I don't want to gain that much height. Come back. Here we go. Railgunner might have a, a weird hitbox with this too. You might have to use your M1 to do this. I don't know that that's going to be... Yeah. Alright, we'll try this one more time. I'll try it from down here and I'll shoot downwards. I'm just fucking around at this point. If you didn't have polar mines, you couldn't do that. Yeah, this is not really the optimal spot for Rail Gunner, it seems like. Uh, it's, a, it's a weird angle. Yeah. Who have I not shown? I think Huntress? I'll fuck around with that spot more as a gunner later. Um, and then, so if you want to get up here, I think you can just go around and get up there. Assuming you don't have, like, a feather or anything. Like, can you get up there with no items? Yeah, you can. I think that would work on anybody. It's important that you start from up here, though, because you'll get the precise amount of height. If you start from down there, you sometimes won't get enough height. You can fall short. If you go too far up, uh, you'll get too much height, and you'll slam it your head into the wall. Can you get up as Potmobile? Maybe. I could try. I don't need this mocha, by the way. I just have it. But I think you can... Maybe not as Huntress. You need a little bit of maneuverability. Yeah, okay. So that's why you need to have at least a whip. You actually need to have... Like, 30% speed. I can try it with the uh, two hooves. See if that works. Or I just give myself... Three more mocha. Basically the same. See if that works. not an unreasonable amount of speed. You just need a little bit. Good. That get me up. That'll do it. All right, so you need to have at least two goat hooves. Can you do it with one energy drink? One energy drink is 25% speed. Let's try that. You might be able to. I don't... Alright, I think I have to sprint here. Normally, you don't really have to sprint to get the the boost, but with drink, you probably do. I think this will work, actually. I'm not sure.
Okay, uh, wait. So you can blink to stop your momentum if you're getting too much. Oh, that wasn't good. That was not good. Is the remove command really just give item a uh, blank minus? Uh, you can. You can do underscore remove. You can do remove underscore item, but it doesn't have the auto complete. So I like doing it that way better. Okay. I do an ab abstractal. Abstract? It's abstract. What am I saying? Alright, move, 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 move. Ha ha ha! Okay, so you, if you have one energy drink, you're good. You can get up there. One energy drink and a safer space is, is all you need on Huntress. That's crazy. This, what an insane discovery. Holy shit. This blew my mind. Are you a flamethrower? We'd try that. Uh, I think that one was weird, though. That one was weird. You, you, you go flying off in a weird direction. How do safer spaces contribute to this? Because you'll die from fall damage if you don't have it. At least in Eclipse. If you're in uh, if you're in Monsoon, if you're anything below Eclipse 3, all you need is a drink, and you can skip pillars on pretty much anybody. Because you don't die from fall damage. Okay. See, I'm going, like, I'm getting height, but I'm going in, at a weird angle here. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about this. We could try the other spot. The thing about Artie is you can maintain your height a lot easier. You know how it was discovered? Like, purely people jumping off, looking for spots, uh, attempting a random chance at first, then replication. I think, uh, well, you just notice sometimes you jump off and you go flying. Host noticed that, and he utilized it to make a skip, and then it was just refining it. Ah, god damn it. Okay. Didn't mean to hit that. Okay, I'm going to use my Ion Surge. Actually, no, I should do it from up here, because that's going to be more realistic with Flamethrower. So I jump. God damn it. Damn it. Okay. The spot is tricky. I need to remember how to do it. Start further back. No? Still not working. Hmm. Too far back, maybe? Huh. It worked as multi. As farther left before, right where it widens on the left side. Like here, I see, okay. No? Maybe i go a little bit further. Just join, what are we trying to do? New pillar skip was discovered. 
We're doing a little bit of testing. I'm just kind of fucking around at this point, though. That's too far. Hmm. Just try it here again, I guess. Maybe it's... It just doesn't work on multi, or on Artificer. Let me spawn as multi again. See if I do actually have the right spot. Because it could just be like a, a hitbox collision thing. See, that worked. Get Blower to reset faster. That's a good idea. Oh shit, I don't I didn't have the the line up there. This might not work. I think we're still good. Top of the meteor. When do I shift on this last one? I'm not sure. I don't think I can get back to the spot now though. Yeah. Well, I'm going to fuck around with this. This is going to be a video. Cap is making a video on it. Um, but, yeah. So, look out for that. This was just a recent discovery. I don't plan on doing anything, but I just wanted to show you guys that. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. I'm going to revisit this challenge at some point um, in the near future. Because I feel like I didn't really experience everything this mod pack has to offer. Again, if you want to try it, mod pack code in the description. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys later. Ta-ta for now. Oh, I'm still going. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> okay, bye.